Good morning. It's December the 9th, I guess. And uh, um, yeah, it's a Friday, so I'm heading around the lake. It's minus 12, so relatively warm, relatively being the operative word there. Certainly warmer than the last day I walked. Before dawn, the uh, sun will probably come in about half an hour, I would think. I'm going to start with just my hat, and we'll see what happens ear-wise. I might have to put up my hood, depending on what the wind's doing. i got a note here. What does that say? Oh, all right. The note says, well, why, yes, I am live, but I've never seen a note on here that tells me I'm live. Well, that's new. Yeah, I may have to put up my hat, my hood, I mean. So let's see what's in the agenda today. I have, uh, you know, stuff to do. The main one is uh, I'm interviewing somebody at 10 o'clock in this afternoon. It's all stuff related to our house renovations that will keep me from doing any of my own work. Tomorrow, there's a publisher's showcase being run by Penny University, local bookstore. So I'll be there in my shadow, wearing my Shadow Paw Press hat, selling books from Shadow Paw Press. And I'd love to tell you where it is, but I can't remember the address. But if you went to the Penny University bookstore website, which I don't know off the top of my head either, but if you did Penny University in Regina, you would soon find them. Um, you can see that publisher's holiday showcase or whatever they're calling it. I have a feeling I may have to cover it more than I thought I would. Minus 12 is relatively warm, but it is relatively not actually warm. And it is an hour, so there may be an awkward moment or two while I... I might as well do it now and avoid the rush. All right, hold on. Some snapping up to do here. At least it's not so cold that my fingers freeze while I'm doing it. There we go. That should be warmer. Not wearing my long underwear today, though. Just like to share that with you. Hopefully the uh, sound is a little better. I moved the mic a little higher up on my parka. And I don't currently have the scarf over my mouth, so... It doesn't point very directly at... Uh, it's at a bit of an angle, and I can't do much about that because of the way that it connects. So I hope it's picking me up okay. It's going to be a... Well, they said it's supposed to be cloudy today, but it actually looks clear at the moment. Perhaps the uh, cloud is coming. this temperature, I'm quite sure we'll see other people walking around the lake with dogs. Let's get some remnants of last overnight Christmas 
lights. Some lights stay on all night. Some go off. Ours is on a uh, timer and sensor, so it goes, the lights come on when it gets dark. 5.30 and stays on for, I think, 12 hours. Bit of wind, so I may even have to pull my scarf up. We'll see once I get to the other side of the bridge here. You can see the sky's getting very light already over there. Yeah, I'm going to have to pull up my scarf, I think. Oh! These steps are not well cleared, so they're not actually level. I have to be very careful on them. They slope down with the snow that's piled on them. Okay, I'm going to stop here while I pull up my scarf a bit. And then on we go. Sorry, I probably am more muffled now, but it is what it is. I will try to speak loudly. <laughs> Always makes people look at you funny, but I'm wearing a mask now, so shouldn't bother anybody. There's the bridge. Getting that dramatic morning light starting to happen on it. Yeah, there's a bit of a wind chill for sure. The wind blowing across the, uh, the lake here. So walking into the wind for sure. Covering up my face is still worthwhile. Let's see, we've got Canadian, Saskatchewan, and British flags flying on the bridge. This is also the dam that forms the lake. This is the dam that forms the lake. Right here. Even though it's warmed up a bit, I don't imagine there's any water going through it. Minus 12. I still keep things. It's going to go to minus 5 today, which is really warm. So. I'm trying to figure out what that sign says. Is that note that I've never seen before? Edward Willett is live. Yes, I know. Live on air. Yes, I am. But it's never told me that before. That's kind of weird. Why would bother telling me that? Told you we'd see people. Bloggers. If the uh, app updated and added something that wasn't there before. Nobody's watching me live, according to my little numbers. Maybe I'll just follow, I often walk up to the ledge, but maybe today I'll follow the lake path instead and just keep walking around the edge of the lake. Downtown is, of course, that direction.
I usually go on up toward the ledge, but not today. It's to be different. And there's the ledge. Random car sitting there with the sights on. Backed up to the other curb. I don't know if that's all about. Strange place to sit. When they put in the skating rink, which they usually do at some point, this is where uh, you put on your skates and warm up. It's probably coming pretty soon. I would think they'd want it up for the holidays. Straight into the wind and into the sunrise. The incipient sunrise, anyway. Sidewalks well cleared, or path is well clear. And again, last year there was open water out there, like almost all winter, and I, it looks like it's losing right over. So, I wonder where that open water came from last year. Kind of walking a long way around compared to the way I normally kind of cut off this big loop of the uh, lake walk. United Empire Loyalist Memorial. Very unusual that nobody is uh, watching me live, as far as I can tell. I was worried when I see a new message I've never seen before. Has something changed? Is it not streaming? No way to know till it's done. Certainly some bare ice out there. Is that water? I think it's just ice that the snow has blown off of. Yeah, last year there was I well, guess it wasn't along here, though, just further along. So we'll see when we get a little further along. I don't think there's any open water on the lake. Yeah. See, we're just now coming up to the road in front of the ledge, which I've already been across and over here somewhere. I'd gone the other way. So it's minus 12 Celsius, what is that Fahrenheit? Uh, call it about plus 12 Fahrenheit, I guess. Pretty darn close. Yeah, it'd be 
close to that. 11 or 12 Fahrenheit. So again, relatively warm is still very much relative. Most <laughs> of the world would think it was really, really cold. And the wind chill is sharp, blowing across the lake there. I don't know what it is, but it's certainly I made the right decision to cover up before walking in this direction and through the wind. Still, nobody's found me. Or wait, is there a one there now? Oh yeah, there we go. So I must be streaming because I see, I see numbers now on the live stream tally. Hi. Here's the Holodomor Memorial to the Russian Genocide of Ukrainians, Skander Stalin. It's been a particularly poignant memorial with the attack on Ukraine this year. Quite a few people walking. Of course, in my eyes, it's hard to tell. I thought that was somebody walking ahead of me, and it's just a tree trunk. So. <laughs> I realized what I was looking at. So earlier this week, I interviewed Alan Smale for my podcast, and today I'm interviewing Chadwick Ginther. Winnipeg author. I've known him a long time. Getting brighter and brighter. There's another walker. A white walker. <laughs> Actually. Just starkly, not a white walker. That's a white hat. Hi. Morning. Startled me when he came out behind me. Didn't hear him until he hit the snow and started crunching. I'm not hurting keeping my nose under my scarf for some reason.
Oh, I think this is the old guys. Morning. Oh, there's somebody saying hi. Oh, that's good to hear. Thank you. Upasana, I guess. Upasana. Again, it's always hard to read the notes against a snow field. I can just get another, at this point, what, 300 and... 80, 370 subscribers, I can monetize this. I might make 10 bucks a year or something. <laughs> I have a thousand subscribers. I have 600 and something. I haven't looked at the most recent count. 630 or thereabouts, I think. But, you know, I started with 40 a year and a half ago, so it certainly has grown. And I thought at one point a thousand was impossible, but I don't think that give me another year, I might get there. Not that those people, a thousand people, or 600 and some odd people, not saying you're odd, but <laughs> watch every video, but at least they subscribe, and that's what counts. I seem to be getting, I don't know, for an ordinary walk, 100, sometimes 150 views, sometimes less, sometimes more. Another walker. The really popular videos will go up into the thousands of views, though. Typically something to do with bad weather or not being in Regina, so... <laughs> Walking at St. John's, for example, got a lot of views. Walking in the, the Okanagan, I think, did pretty well. And then there's certain ones that, for some reason, people really like. There's a twilight walk from downtown that's gotten a lot of views. Even if uh, half the comments are, where's everybody? <laughs> I keep explaining. It's not that big a city. I think we're about 250,000 now. I thought we were less, but I checked that last night. We're 250, 260 probably at the moment. But you know, it's a big city, big space. Not that many people, and especially this time of year. Although that twilight walk was not this time of year, but downtown there just isn't anybody much after things close down. And this time of year, people tend to be indoors for obvious reasons. Watch my footing going down the slope, make sure there's no ice on it. Once I get to where I don't have the wind in my face, I'll probably pull the scarf down again. Get some fresh air on my face. It's downtown over there in the distance. In the distance, you'll see downtown Regina. Across the frozen lake of ice. Could walk right out into the lake here without any difficulty. I can certainly go closer. 
does say thin ice, so. Yeah, so there's downtown with the morning sky, looking north, more or less. Uh, well, I did one on Halloween. It was the last time I walked around. And I'll do one for sure. This month, I'll do a Christmas lights walk around our neighborhood. I'm not usually downtown at night. Pine Island over there. Morning. Morning. I've already passed those joggers once. Or they passed me. What about the nighttime videos is the focus is iffy. If it gets dark, the camera tends to slip out of focus and then we're not watching it. It's be fuzzy. But I'm sure there will be more nighttime videos. I'm not going over to Pine Island. There it is. I think my current pinned video is actually last year's Christmas walk around the neighborhood. I'll have to replace that if I do a new one. Once we turn the corner up here, the wind will be behind me and I might uh, just pull down my scarf again, which might make my voice clearer. On the really cold day, when I went to the warehouse district on Wednesday, uh, when it was minus 30 or whatever, the phone died, battery died before I got home. Just before I got home. Bringing things to an abrupt end. And then I wasn't able to save the video, so I only had the live stream archive as opposed to the higher definition non-buffering version that I normally put up in addition to the live streamed one. You can only live stream on uh, Facebook at 720, so that limits the resolution for these live streams. So that's why I put the 1080 version up after the fact. Yeah, quite a bit of wind coming from that direction, but once I turn that way, I probably won't need my scarf as much, if at all. Seems to be blowing in the southeast. I mean, this is a somewhat unusual direction for it. Shamir Han should be behind me. There we go. You can see the moon up there, almost directly above the legislative building. Might even take down my hood a little bit. We always have to cross the creek. So we crossed it on the west side, now we'll cross it on the east side. Here by the Broad Street Bridge. Morning. Broad Street Bridge. The footbridge will pause, as we often do, on the bridge at the peak, the apex, whatever. Look at the lake. A 
as the sun continues to work on coming up behind us. Here's the ridge. You can see clear ice under it that looks like water, but is actually smooth ice. Almost a full moon, not quite. I don't know if it's enough to bring out the werewolves or not. I don't know if it's waxing or waning, actually. It might be full. I think it's slightly off kilter on one corner, so well, it doesn't have a corner, but you know what I mean. One edge. It's hard to tell with my eyes, but when I blink my contacts just right, it looks like there might be not quite perfectly round. And I have no easy way to look it up at the moment. But. Here's a big pile of snow for you. Cleared off the driveway here, parking lot. Haven't been any kids playing on it. That one's quite steep. It is the sort of thing kids love to play on. Boat landing, not a lot of use for that right now. No canoes in the water, in the ice. That would be very bad for them if they were. Probably be crushed. If you had a boat, that's where you would launch it. They've sometimes cleared ice along here for skating. I don't know if they'll do that this year or not. Notice board. Up here is uh, Lake Lake Taco. That's the takeout window, and then Bar Willow is the main restaurant here, which has a deck if they use even in the winter because it's heated. Don't know how comfortable that is in really cold weather. They probably don't open it in really cold weather. Sun is possibly up. Darn close. I think it is. That looks like sunshine on the buildings over there. So yeah, the sun is up. Hasn't quite reached ground level, but anything sticking up has it now. I heard somebody come out of the door. This is where the rowing club hangs out. They're not doing a lot of rowing this time of year either. You can see the sun on the legislative building now over there. That's one of the uh, official boats for when they need to get a boat out on the water, I think. The Moscana Center Authority. Another walker from the other direction. Been positively busy this morning. Morning.
Let me just be different. I'll go up the stairs today. This is a shortcut, not actually a path, but I'll take it. We'll go up under the observation platform today, just for a change. There's a fountain here in the summer. Nothing fountaining right now. You can see a lot of animal tracks in the uh, snow if you look. Squirrels and rabbits mostly. Dogs sometimes, of course. We'll go up here today. For another view. Well, there is one little, one little patch of open water there. So somehow there's a warmer upflow coming from somewhere. Because I was there most of last winter, no matter how cold it was. But last year there were a lot of birds hanging around on it. And I'm sure they seem to have actually given up and headed home. And you can see downtown getting lit up by the morning sun. We'll go this way now. Towards uh, Wascana Center Authority, the main building where the park is administered from. It has some uh, event space in there too. And I, there used to be an art gallery. I don't know what the status of that is anymore. It's been a long time since I've even been in the building. I kept saying I'd go through and go into the uh, garden at the back this summer, and I didn't. So I put it on my to do list for next year. But anyway, that's. What kind of place it's called? And on around, we continue around the lake. Wascana is a Cree word, an English transliteration of a Cree word, which I believe means Wascana, the place where the bones are piled because. Pile of bones is the nickname for Regina, because in buffalo hunting days they piled bones here until they pretty much wiped out the buffalo. I didn't think I could ever make a dent in such huge populations, but they did. They didn't wipe them out. I mean, buffalo aren't extinct, but they're no longer in massive herds, running wild on the prairie. I already passed these people once. They look like they should have covered their faces. Walking in that direction. That's the uh, Queen building over there, HMCS Queen, landlocked ship. I've been working on it for a while, doing new windows. Looks like they've moved upstairs now. They've done the downstairs ones. That's where the naval cadets hang out. If you wanted to join the Navy, I think that's where you'd go. As I often point out, there's also one in Saskatoon, HMCS Unicorn. Both, um, well, certainly Unicorn, long history in the Royal Navy anyway. But it's, it always seems odd to me that that's the Saskatoon is unicorn. I don't really associate Saskatoon with unicorns. Ranger, oh, nice. Willow Island over there. There's the Queen building. Sail ho!
A few patches of ice to watch out for here and there. Generally speaking, quite clear. That's, uh, I guess it's West Canada Drive, maybe. I don't know where it turns from Broad Street into West Canada Drive. Right there, it's kind of as close as it comes to the park here. Well, as close as it comes to the path, I should say. Again, if you've just joined, it's minus 12 this morning. People always want to know the temperature. Minus 12 Celsius, about minus, or sorry, about to 12 above Fahrenheit. That's pretty close to where they minus 12 and 12 meet. We're on the wide line in there. Of course, the place the scales really come together is at 40 below. 40 below Fahrenheit is 40 below Celsius as well. Once you go below 40, the Fahrenheit numbers go up faster, or down faster, I guess. So if the coldest day I know for sure I've experienced was when I was in Weyburn. It was minus 47 Celsius, I believe, which would put it in the 50s Fahrenheit. Morning. Not on this overlook the last couple of times I won't go out there today. Anxious to get home to coffee. Also, I have an interview to do at 10 o'clock, so that's in an hour. For the World Shapers podcast, where I interview other science fiction and fantasy authors about the creative process. This, this weekend's will be uh, Alan Smale. It was a very interesting conversation. He's actually a physicist, astrophysicist, works for Goddard Space Flight Center with, uh, for NASA, and writes science fiction on the side. Mostly alternate history, he says. It's kind of his favorite. His new book is called Hot Moon, which is an alternate space race story where the Cold War goes hot on the moon about 1979. So, uh, Sounds cool. I might try to get hold of that one. I didn't ask him about the uh, For All Mankind alternate history about the space race, the TV series. Don't know if he's aware of it or not. Probably is. You can see the moon dead ahead there, just above the trees. Is that close? CBC building is over that away. Here comes the old guys again. Morning. Edge is nicely lit up now by the sun through the trees there. Oh, airplane. Uh, let's see, is this beaten down enough I can take the shortcut? Probably. Let's take the shortcut. Get you closer to the lake and cuts off a few steps. There's the uh, college building over there where the Conservatory of Performing Arts is located. Among other things. I passed her before too. If I move over, I can walk in this one so we don't run into each other. There's been vehicles through here, parked vehicles. 
I certainly kept the path clear enough to walk on. And the sun has found us now at ground level. Sunset is probably before five o'clock, so it's a short day and a long night. There's the sun. Sit on the benches, but they're covered in frost, so. <laughs> There's that Seattle Street Bridge over there. Nice through that up now. We're only about 10 minutes from home now. This is a particularly well cleared stretch of the uh, path. New uh, pool they're building is up this way. Yeah, looking quite attractive now with the blue sky. And the snow picks up blue even from the sky, just like the water does. Not quite the same, but similar. There's the gazebo, bandstand, whatever you want to call it. Spoke too soon about this part of the path being really well cleared. This is quite icy. Look back at the sunrise again. With the ledge over on the right. Either. Make sure the benches are clear. <laughs> Whoa. And I looked at the, that's when I usually slip, is if I take my eyes off of what's dead ahead and turn my head to look at something to the right. That's when you're most likely to slip because of your. Way back uh, a little over a year ago now, when we were in St. John's, we were hiking along the ocean trail, which was quite up and down and rough and I had a walking stick, but the only time I slipped was when somebody came up beside me and called my name, and I turned to look at him and immediately slipped on the rock because I'd taken my eyes off the path. <clears throat> I didn't fall, but that's as close as I came on that walk. Oh, I think I'll take down my hood now, too, because my head's getting quite warm and it'll start cooling me off before I get home. <clears throat> There's another jogger. Last look at the bridge there.
I haven't eaten any breakfast, I just realized. Okay, here's a last look at the bridge. Oh, okay, here's a last look at the bridge. <laughs> These steps are cleared quite well, but the ones on the other side are not cleared well at all. These ones, as you can see, have snow on them. They put sand on it, but they still kind of slope downward. They're not perpendicular. Not so bad going up. Going down, I had to be careful. Alrighty. Say goodbye to the park. This is 18th, 19th, 19th. This little stretch of road. Down there, as I always point out, is where Wally Knight lives in my Shards of Excalibur series, which you should read. I'm putting out new editions of the books again. Just updated. I've, Shadow Pop Press editions are out there, but I've changed my logo and they've been Amazon exclusive and I'm working on getting them back over to Ingram so they're more widely available. I know, only other indie publishers care about that sort of thing, but <laughs> it's one of the things I've been working on bit by bit. Got the first two done. It doesn't take that long to do one, but I haven't wanted to spend daytime time on it because of everything else I have to do. So I've tended to do it, you know, 10.30 to midnight. Duck. This is Angus Boulevard. Just a couple of more blocks now. I should plug the phone in for sure after this because even though it wasn't as cold as the other day, the cold definitely makes the battery drain faster. car is doing. It looked like it was backing up, but it didn't go anywhere. That part of the crescent goes on around to Angus, I mean to Albert Street. And that's Stavin School dead ahead, where my daughter went to school. She's still in school, but now she's in her fourth year at the University of Toronto. With graduate school coming after that, so she's not done school yet. I think she's going to take a gap year. relax a little bit, although, and maybe take some classes. <laughs> Just not a full, full load. Our Crescent, Angus Crescent, almost home.
Oh look, spam. Well, I'll get rid of that and report it as soon as I get back inside. It'll only show up on the live stream comments feed. Okay, that's it. Thanks for walking with me. Uh, don't know what will happen over the weekend. It's a busy weekend, but we'll see.